appreciate more uh, getting more food and getting this and getting that more than any other thing. So I didn't like that. I felt like it wasn't supposed to be like that. If you want to cook and if you were cooking for everybody and you say you're cooking for everybody, then give everybody food. But if you're not cooking for everybody, just make it known. Don't just say you're cooking for everybody at the end of the day and give food to yourself. So that's it. So basically, I felt like maybe people tend to, you know, naturally, when you are when you are close to someone more than the other person, I don't know. Maybe your instinct just want you make you want to give the person more food, do whatever. Because I know there's a lot of people in the house that I really I didn't didn't really get to talk a lot. So maybe that maybe they, because of that they felt like oh maybe I'm not when I'm cooking I'm not supposed to give him more food because we didn't really wrap well. So that but that's cool. That's cool though. So if it's their if it's their personality, if it's how they felt. I mean that's for them. I don't really. It was. I didn't really bother me a lot. The only what. The only thing I loved about eating in the house was we get to eat together. I. I. I think I made the point. I. I that made me happy when you're eating with everybody because when you're eating alone, it's not really fun and all that. So, that's basically it. I mean, it is what it is. It's a game. It is what it is. Yes, it is brother it is. man. Now let's get personal. Let's get personal. We want you to yeah. describe some of your housemates. We have some questions. Okay. Um, some words in can you give us like in a word or in this word I'm about to say now can you tell us someone that would, that you would use to describe that word in the house so the first word is instigator who would you term or tag as an instigator in the house person that instigates well um ah uh, Oh, that's hard. I can't really think of everybody, anybody right now to the person that is an instigator. Uh, I feel like at some point everybody was instigated. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting you to say that. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Because it's a game. Everybody's playing oh, something. Everybody's playing nice. game, man. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so since, since, since it's a game and everybody's competing to win that, it's five million. Who would you who would you say was the most competitive as like the person that was ready to go all out to get that prize oh. in the house? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, I can answer that one. I felt like I can. I, I need to call. But there's a lot of people on the boat. This boat. So, I feel people that are really people that can go all out for this money. I'm th I'm gonna call Nengi. Oh my God, she's on fire. When it comes to She's killing everywhere. I mean, when it comes to being beautiful, she's beautiful. When it comes to the game, she's the game. I mean, when she came into the house and, you know, the way she was looking, everybody felt like, oh, maybe she's going to start. No. But she, but she came and she became the first head of house. And I was like, oh. I mean, she, Wow. Game so, started. So, yeah, she and um, uh, she and uh, Prince. Yeah, Prince is very competitive, too. Very competitive. And, and... Uh, Kid Wire, do you know why I'm, I'm calling Kid Wire? It's because why? he's the game. He's the game. Do you understand? He's playing the game his way, and he's just, he's not like, he's not like using it like people are really playing it like do or die. He's just being himself and he's having fun, and that is working for him. Period. That. So that's that's it. So I love that about him. And uh, Erica, too, Erica is really a go getter. People should not look down. She's yeah. a very, she's a very competitive girl. So, um, and Lekon, Lekon, mm. uh, they, these people are really on fire. With, with, with all this information you know about them and that you've gathered so far, right? now that you're out, if you're given the opportunity to go back in, what would you do differently? What would you do with well, this information you have about them from outside? What would you do when you get back in? Well, actually, um, as much as the information that I have, if I get back in, I felt like, like I, would, I would try to relate more with some people I didn't relate. You know, when we got into the house, I used to tell people being in the house and outside the house is different. Because when you're in there, a lot of things is hitting you at the same time. And you get to, you get to be with a lot of people that, you know, you know it's not, you don't see them and they're bringing on some, you know, you have to relate well and be there. So it's very, a little bit hard for some people. So uh, I feel like if I'm the house, yeah, I'm going to try to adjust a little bit, you know, 
trying to mingle more and trying to talk more to people, you understand? Mm -hmm. So, but I will still be myself, maybe a little active, a bit more, more active, you understand? So that's yeah. it. Yeah. And Tochi, I want to try to get into your head now, if it's possible. Okay, okay so I watched, I watched you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I watched you guys in the first week. Yeah. Everybody was talking at the same time. Mm. There's this the, you everybody literally had high raised voices. Yeah. Yeah. Are you with us? Okay, can you hear us? All right. So everybody was talking at the same time. Everybody was trying to be funny. Everybody was putting themselves out there. How did you feel? Because at some point I felt like I was being suffocated as a viewer, not to talk of you that's actually a housemate at that time. So how did you feel hearing every, some people's voices were louder than the rest. Some people were trying to speak louder, speak faster. How did you feel that first week? Well, the first week was the week where you get to start to understand people. So um, I, I used to say, it's not really about doing shouting and screaming because you cannot be the viewer and the housemate at the same time. The so, same time. Word. Yeah. So um, it's yeah, it's people are different. I, people were different. There were people that could talk more than others. People could act more than others. People could do some funny things more than others. So it was just bring your A game. What are you? What is it that you? What, what makes you different in the house? So in the first week that people were talking and talking, yeah, it was all cool because we were in the we were in the state where we were learning people. As much as some people were talking, they were still trying to use their talk to get to know people more. Because when you talk to people, you get to understand the kind of people they are. So I, I feel like that was the stage, the, the beginner stage. Everybody was just relaxed and calm and playing. Oh, okay, this is, the, this is my kind of person. Okay, we could relate. So basically, that was that was the stage. That was it. But how did you feel? Were you did you feel a lot of pressure to want to do more? Because some people were literally overdoing certain things. Remember, you said you cannot be the viewer and a housemate at the same time. So you might be in a conversation. You you are not seeing other conversations happening around you, but us the viewers were seeing we it. We saw a lot. We saw a lot. You know. So I basically I wasn't sleeping because I'm a YouTuber. And I was giving reviews of the show. So I noticed a lot of people were trying to do too much. So did you feel any sort of pressure to want to be more than who you really were at that time? No, 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 no. If I ever did that, that would have been wrong because I would have done it wrong. I always, I wanted to be myself. If I start shouting more because I want people to hear me more, it's at the point I'm going to start, I'm going to start really messing up. Because that's not my kind of person. Yeah, people, yeah. There was a point where I felt like, oh, because of, maybe, maybe because of my personality, I didn't quite relate with some people because they needed as somebody that can scream like them. They needed someone that can, you know, jump up and do a lot of things like them. Maybe that's why I didn't get to relate with some people. But I relate, I, I get to relate with people that understand the kind of person I am. You understand? So that was... That was basically. I think that's that why was, Nengi really misses him. So I think that's no, why Nengi really misses you because both yeah, of you have a lot in common. I guess. Okay, speaking guess. about your personality and you, there is the, we didn't really get what, what. Okay, let me be sincere. The part of you that I loved that I saw in the show was the acting side of you. You know, yeah. okay. I'm sure you yourself were not expecting to showcase that part of you. The acting was awesome. The rapping too was nice. She was even saying that you also rapped. I'm like, wow. I remember you doing um, some sort of um, a rap battle of, of some sorts with, with um, Lekon. Yeah. Lekon, yeah, yeah. Outside the, at the garden. That was awesome. So is there any other talent that you have that we are not aware of, that we didn't get to see? Well, you, you guys didn't get to see my, I guess my musical side a lot. Because... And even my acting part, I felt like people didn't really catch because I felt like the time when I got evicted was when I think opportunities where, where I get to showcase a lot where, and that is why when I got evicted, I was a little bit hot. But 
yeah, I guess I didn't really people didn't see that uh that acting the music side more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more. And also the entertainment. Yeah, I do. I'm a freestyle rapper. I don't really I I, I do more freestyle. So and I guess that's the connection I have with Lakon because when we we're in the house, he was like, Okay guy, what's up now? Sometimes he would start a beat and we have to freestyle and do something. So he understand the kind of uh, the kind of person and the kind of uh, entertainment that I was into. So, um, so basically, they didn't see that. And I guess too, people didn't really see. Um, didn't, didn't, people didn't really see the I would say the romantic part of me because I guess I didn't <laughs> get any <laughs> shit. I was looking forward to that <laughs> with my life, my body, my soul, my spirit. I was yeah. waiting for Tochi to click with Watoni. But um, Tochi oh. wanted Tolani bad. And I'm like, get Watoni, get Watoni, get Watoni, you know? So what happened at that point in time? Why did you choose Tolani bad and not Watoni? Well, um, I, I guess I didn't, it's not about really choosing. It was about, um, you know, when, when, when the, the first week that you said before, a lot of people, we, we and Tolani Bad we were really close in the first week because we we talked and I guess because she was a little she was a little laid back in the first week you know so I noticed that so I started talking we started talking we flowed a lot a lot of people yeah so but um so we Watoni was she was would I say she was just like me because she was she was so in in inside she didn't really relate well with a lot of people. She was just oh, herself. And yeah, that can be a, real, a little hard in the house, though, to connect with people because you don't really know what they are thinking. Because if you see someone and she, the person is relating with some people, you can always understand, oh, okay, but Watoni is always alone. And it was actually later that she started coming out slowly. And again, I always say that all this, uh, the relationship stuff is basically is a natural something. It's not something you get a rush into. So at a point, <clears throat> at a point, me and Tolani Badge, at a point, I understand because we are friends and I started understanding, okay, maybe she had other stuff on her mind. So like I had to look forward for the money. So that was basically it. Okay, now that you're out, now that you're out, um, what's what's next for Tochi? What what are your plans? What are your goals? What's the brand? What's the next thing for the brand, Tochi? Well, um, for the brand, there's a lot of things on the brand table right now. Uh, but um, so but the first time, the first the first is uh, uh, that will be the acting. So there will be a lot more of me coming to your screen. So. Um, Everybody should just stay tuned. Don't even praise the die. <laughs> Who to die? So, um, and also, um, there will also be, uh, you know, when I was when I came out of the house, the first thing that hit me was people were like, I saw a, I saw a lady. The lady was like, the way you're asking me, how do I remove my beard? Beard and put it back. I was like, ah, ah it's natural, no. I don't remove it. Wait, they thought you they thought you fixed it. The beard was fixed. Yeah, I thought I was fixed. <laughs> So I thought, I thought it's not something you pull out. So, so like, so I, I, I feel like people need to understand that you can actually keep a a healthy beard, you know. So, yeah, definitely, I'm looking forward to getting a product out soon from for that because ah, uh, people are like, okay, this is your beard, beard. The dogs in another. We will see now. We see how it takes. Nice. So all those things. So and also, um, okay. I was, uh, okay. okay. No, you're still telling us more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, the work I was doing before I get into the house, I was into real estate. So before I got in, so I'm actually going to expand that more on a whole lot. So just stay tuned. Tochi Nation is coming. So what I was about to ask you is this. I noticed that a lot of um, ex bb Niger housemates, when they come out of the house, they are available on social media, but when potential investors or partners want access to them, it's a, it's a problem. You basically cannot even reach them because you are seeing their posts on social media, but you cannot reach them. 
So the thing now is, I have a huge platform on YouTube. Aaron also has a huge platform on Instagram and YouTube. So please, we want you to take the next two minutes to mention all available contacts, every way that any available partnership or investors or whatever can reach you, because we want people to have access to Tochi. Okay. Okay. Well, um, um, you can reach me on Instagram, tochi.official. Okay. And you can reach me on Twitter on tochi underscore okay. Tochi underscore okay. And you can reach me on my, uh, you can reach me on my Gmail on elvismaybag at, at gmail.com. Can so you repeat that again? Yeah, elvismaybag at gmail.com. That, I think that is basically the best part when it comes to business wise. That's the best part when it comes to business wise. And because, you know, when you get out of the house, a lot of people are on your DMs and all that. So it's basically, it can be a little hard, but I. He's still with us. Don't you? Are you still with us? Yeah. <laughs> Too bad we lost him or Chai. Yo, FSWG fam and saying yo, what's up? How you guys doing? All right, Tochi, if you're still there, you can send a request. Uh, if not, let's quickly just brush through. Let's do a mini review. So, <laughs> okay, oh, Aaron wants to serenade you guys. Aaron, uh -huh. what does he need to do? No, no, no. It's, it's still about the show. Um, tomorrow, what's today? Saturday, Friday. Today, Friday, yeah. Okay, we will go live again on Sunday. I have a special guest coming on Sunday. Yep. Should we let them know? Nope. <laughs> Don't tell them yet. Okay, we have one more housemate coming on Sunday that we'll be talking to. Okay, Roma is a girl. Oh, Roma ah. is my subscriber. <laughs> ah. Hi, Roma. <laughs> So guys, expect that expect that um, interview on Sunday is going to be loud. We're keeping it as a surprise, guys. So you know what to do. One PM, tune into Nollywood Online TV, and you will see us live and direct. And you can also call us in to ask questions. All right, we, we, okay. we almost lost you there, bro. <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah. Sorry, I'm so sorry for that. It's my bad. Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back. Guys. We have just one more question. I'll let her ask you. Okay, Gucci. I'm not a troublemaker, but <laughs> we just like hearing things. Um, are you there? Oh, this, this is crazy. crazy. We've lost him again. <sighs> it's like he's he's Maybe he's off as I was. Please. And people, more people are coming online as well now. Yeah. We have any question, please drop it in the comment <laughs> section. Are screaming, Glory. <laughs> <laughs> Let me send the request in again. Mm. Hopefully, this time we will get him. Aaron, yeah. hello. All the onions I ate this morning. I'll just finish the way for you. Uh, it's okay. Yes. I need to be following him. Are you following him? Yeah, of course, but I don't know why I can't find him. Yeah, where are all of you? Oh, man, bad network. All right. Enemy of progress. The <laughs> network wants to rip us off today. Okay. All right. Um, so, guys, like I was saying, we will be having one more um, ex housemate on Sunday, 1 p.m. You don't want to miss this one. And for those of you that have been following us, we do this every week. But this particular one is the special show. So once we're done with Tochi, so the next time you see us will be on Sunday. Uh -huh. This is Aaron. 
All right. Uh, since we can't get him anymore, we'd have to go now. Now the good thing is that he has actually shared um, his contact details, not his phone number now. So guys, um, Tochi is a great actor. Um, if you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that can put his face on our TV screens again, because I know that a lot of you are looking forward to seeing his face, hit him up on all those contact details, okay? All right. Thank you very much for staying tuned. See you on Sunday. Yes, yeah, Sunday. Um, YouTube live stream tomorrow, 3 p.m. West African time. Practice Skill with Glory Elijah's YouTube channel. Don't forget to join. Okay? Yeah. All right, guys. Bye.